That was insane. The machine went up in flames and was extinguished in seconds. What you just saw was the machine's fire suppression system kicking in when that fire started. Similar to what we have on our Studer S41 from United Grinding. What was amazing is that nobody was hurt and the machine was unharmed. You don't want a $1.7 million machine burning down in your shop. So when we're grinding with cutting oil, the oils can actually create a mist that can ignite. Unlike water-based coolants, you have to have a fire suppression system along with a couple other things like an LNS mist extractor to ensure that in the event of a catastrophic failure, a fire doesn't burn down the machine in the middle of the shop. So today we're gonna test our fire suppression system to ensure it works flawlessly, just like it did in that video. How we're gonna do that, the technician's gonna actually use a lighter and there's two thermal sensors in the top of the machine. He's gonna hold that lighter up to those thermal sensors to ensure that they trip the fire suppression system. There's also a UV sensor that will detect an open flame within the machine. Those two sensors together ensure that that fire suppression system goes off when it needs to in the event of a catastrophic failure. So in the world of grinding, we have machines that are equipped with oil as a coolant medium. And when you have a grinding wheel that's spinning fast, it always creates mist inside the machine, which in worst case is flammable. That's why we at United Grinding make sure we always equip our machines with a fire suppression system. And after we got the machine in here at Titans of CNC in Texas, we make sure to test the system for correct function. So how are we gonna do that? We basically take a simple lighter and we're gonna have a UV sensor right here that detects the flame, the UV rays in the flame. And we're gonna have two heat sensors that detect heat from the fireball. And for the worst case, we're gonna have a hand unit here to just break the glass and push the button. Each of those sensors does, it sends a signal to the fire suppression main unit that is hooked up to a huge 30 kilo CO2 tank. And we're gonna have these nozzles here where the CO2 comes out, two over there. The fire suppression unit sends a signal to the machine to start a retract cycle. So the, all the wheels move back from the part into a safe position. The machine goes in e-stop, shuts everything off. The fire will be extinguished. Everybody gets out and we're good. Now that the test is a success, we're gonna hang the CO2 bottle, where hopefully we're never gonna use it, and we're gonna get to grinding.